This is Mishimoto's 96 Mustang GT manual aluminum radiator. We're going to remove the shroud. Once you got all the fasteners out, the shroud just lifts off. We won't be putting this back on. Next we're going to drain the coolant out. If you're just doing the thermostat, you don't have to drain it all out. Just uh, below the inlet hose here. This is a shot looking down at the drain plug on the radiator. Okay, now we're going to disconnect and remove our battery. This will give us better access to radiator mounts. They're back here, this side. Somebody replaced this negative terminal with an aftermarket one. Half inch. <clears throat> Stocker 8 millimeter. Good idea to start with the negative terminal first. Positive. Remove the cover. Eight millimeter down here. actually holds the battery in place and now the battery will lift out now we're going to remove the lines attached to the expansion tank Low coolant sensor. Gonna disconnect the expansion tank to give us better access to that hose on the bottom. Okay, we're going to remove the passenger side bracket. The driver's side has two 
eight millimeter. Next, we're going to remove the fan shroud, electric fan. Move the driver's side bolt first. Okay, now we're going to move to the passenger side. Once you have the wiring disconnected, you can just lift the shroud right out. Now we're going to return, remove the return hose to the radiator. Now once we remove the inlet hose, the top side, we'll be able to lift the radiator out. Now we're going to install the Mishimoto radiator. Now radiator mounts. Okay, now we're going to reinstall the factory electric fan. Reconnect the electrical connection. Now our expansion tank. Little coolant sensor. Now put the upper radiator hose back in.
Now we're underneath the car and reattach the lower radiator hose. Reinstall the battery. Bracket. Okay, now we're just going to fill the, the expansion tank, the radiator, and we'll probably fill the engine through the thermostat as well, uh, and then apply any burping procedures to make sure you get any air pockets out of the engine and cooling system. We're using distilled water since we live in California, and this car is going to be on the track. You're not supposed to use antifreeze. We're putting straight water distilled to prevent any kind of rusting or oxidation.